Oh, there's fish on the board. Yep. All right. Yeah. Finally, man, it's been windy out here, folks. All right, now get the board in here. Unclip it. Feels like a decent fish. Hard to tell with all this wind. Oh yeah, that's a decent little blue cat. I don't think it's net worthy, but we'll put it in the net. There you go folks a little blue cat not real big but a nice little one it's may 1st folks 2022 i'm out in my new sea arc protege my first filming attempt it's windy today i'm telling you bait has been hard to get i uh, just can't find any big balls of shad and when you do find one they're little bitty shad um, so that's what i'm having to work with but we're gonna do what we can and see if we can get a little video i'm trolling i'll show you my setup here in a bit let's see what this little thing weighs people like to know weight and length i'll try to do that even on these little ones all right that little fish six ten six ten see how long it is quit now i'm gonna let you go if you quit let me just get a measurement on you oh look at there that fish would just barely be in the slot 26 inches long a little over 26 inches we've got a slot limit here in missouri between 26 and 34 inches you gotta let them go i'm gonna let them go anyway so all right number one i had that board out to the side using my offshore tackle planer boards gets it out away from the boat a little bit i'm using the uh, medium size ones i've got some larger ones ordered this one's probably just a little small but it doesn't do a bad job Okay, I'm using just a Santee Cooper rig. I got a little two ounce is all it is, slinky weight that I make myself down to a B&M chain swivel. I got a Demon Dragon, then down to a George Young uh, nine aught circle hook. That's the rig. As you can see I got these little bitty shads all I've got uh, just have to make do I'm cutting up about four pieces per hook just cutting the tails off of them let them bleed out a little bit 
Just running them right through the eyeball. Boy, that wind is brutal. Just threading on about four pieces. clipping that front hook so that that uh, line will come out when I catch a fish and I'm not uh, having to fight that planer board bringing the fish in. So that planer board just takes it out to the side, gets it away from the boat a little bit. See if we can catch another one. Oh, there's a bite. There's a fish. Took the board completely under. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, that's there. It's there. See how that uh, front clip pulls out of there so you're not fighting that board? Then you come up, loosen that one, keep your tension on. Little fish. Little fish. Uh, sure don't need this. Get that out of the way. Little blue. Little bitty blue on the old demon dragon. Got that George Young hook nine odd in his mouth. Okay, folks, it's so windy. I'm gonna have to try to find something out of the wind if I can. I'm gonna pull up and see if I can change locations. I'm running about uh, 28 feet deep on this flat. So I put out about 60 feet of line, about twice the depth I'm running in. And then I put my boards on. And then I'm just letting out enough line to get them out away from the boat. I'm just gonna run two boards, two lines. Okay, folks, I give. That wind's just too bad out there. I've been trying to drift, and it's just a mess, and I give. I pulled up here on the bank uh, again, and 
just kind of beached it hiding from the wind more than anything I, I didn't really see that much on the graph coming in here don't expect much but i'm just hiding from the wind i pulled in here put the power poles down got the anchor rods out we're gonna get started Okay, on two of these rods, I went to a size six hook. Uh, I've got eights on those others. I think I'm playing with a bunch of little fish, so I've downsized my hook. See what happens. I've got floats on one of the number six hooks and just, look at here. Oh man, look at there. Oh, that feels like a pretty decent fish. What did I say? I wasn't expecting anything in here. I didn't even get all my rods out. All righty. It's no monster, but... I have to tighten up these reels. Not a bad little fish. Not a bad little fish. probably ought to net it but I'm not going to oh yeah look at there that's a decent little fish right there yeah talk to me yeah 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 All right, that didn't take very long. Yeah, nice little old blue cat right there. Let's see what she weighs. Ten, one. 10 pounds, one ounce. See how long it is. That fish is right at 30 inches long. 30 inches long, 10 pounds. Thank you. There you go. I'll sit here and catch those for a while. No float, just straight on the bottom. Just Carolina style. I got a three ounce cannonball. Not very heavy, but that's all it takes. Okay, I bet I know what'll make these fish bite. Bet if I get my baloney sandwich out, they'll get busy. Let's just see. Man, 
looky there. There's nothing better than a good old thick sliced bologna and Swiss sandwich. Mm-mm-mm. Man, I thought I had some potato chips in there. Bet my wife's been in the boat and ate all my chips. Okay, we're gonna have to get out of here. Anytime the fish lets you sit and eat a sandwich without interrupting you, there's no fish around. I've taken a little nap. I had a sandwich, nothing. We pull in here, catch a 10 pounder before I can even get all my rods out and not another nibble after that. So I don't know where we're gonna go. I'm hiding from the wind, but we're gonna find someplace else. fish on never fails that's all right I'm just reeling that one in little not very big of course I got this one up here where I can't even get under it so get it in where we can go over it Come here, little rascal. Oh, fall down. bad little blue cat little not going to weigh it let's see if he'd be in the slot yep that fish is about 25 inches long let's do see what a slot fish weighs <clears throat> that fish right on the upper end of the slot Five pounds, six ounces. Five and a half pounders about the bottom end of the slot. <clears throat> All right, be a good little fish to keep, but not keeping any. Okay, here we are, hiding from the wind again. We got over here on this protected bank. We'll put them out and see what happens. Okay. It's clicker time. Oh. 
There we go. Oh, another monster. Another monster. Yes, sir. That's a begging. That's what we get today trying to hide from the wind. That's about it. And I've about had it. Wasn't much of a day today, but at least we got out. Got the skunk out of the boat. and Got some skunk in the boat. My B&M Silver Cat Magnums. I'm trying them out. I think I'm going to like them a lot. Going to have to get something bigger than that to put them to the test, though any rate tough day on the old pond the wind's terrible i don't know what else i could use for an excuse the best part of today was that bologna sandwich i had for lunch but i'm gonna call it a day quit wait till i can get some better shad and a little better wind conditions and come back i promise you we'll have a few more bigger cats than those we caught today but thanks for being with me i hope you'll hit the subscribe button hit the bell i'll be doing more Thanks for being with me.